Okay, so we've actually blown our way into a cave where one of these cool plant things is. I haven't looked up what you need to harvest that with. I have no idea what it is. I refuse to acknowledge anything in the chat right now. I'm pretty sure it's a hoe, if you can at all collect it. I am really hoping that you can. I have a lot of builds that this plant will look really, really good in. Please be a hoe. Oh, it's a hoe. The hoe, the hoe does it. Ooh, baby. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. And you can put it like on the ground, right? Like it doesn't have to be upside down. Can it be sideways? It can't be sideways. It can't be on the ground. It has to be upside down. Okay, that's a little inconvenient, but I'll get over that. Oh, thank God it's a hoe. I was really worried I was going to waste the first one. So we, me, I, uh, started working on my next project, uh, which is going to be a hole down to the new bottom of the area, like a bottom of the new world, not the new world, the new, the new bottom of the world, negative 64, where all the deep slate is. I'm going to get a lot of resources that are doing that. And then I want to try and put a slime farm down there somewhere, maybe another couple things. Um, what I learned really quickly is first I need to sort the new deep slate items so i've expanded my sorting system here for the ores um you get clay in large abundance now you'll also be getting i don't really have a lot of any of it yet really but like glow berries stuff like that so we've ex we've expanded the sorting system we haven't finished it yet we removed this was the old overflow this was the old endpoint. now they go past here behind the wall uh into those things and then i realized wait if I'm going to be getting lots of deep slate, my existing deep slate storage is going to be inadequate very quickly. Because if you look at it, the cobble deep slate, I have to manually load the shulker boxes. This is going to fill up super quickly. So I realized I needed to come up with a solution to that, which was a shulker box loader that would put shulker boxes filled with deep slate into an easy location, which is going to be here. This is the end point. To get to here, I'm gonna do a little bit of a cheaty cheat over here. To get to this point, the shulker boxes will fall from here, fall from here, fall from up here. I made this shulker box loader and plugged it into an early point in our system here. Great. So the items will go through, we get the deep slate out, it goes into the shulker box loader, the shulker box is broken into this water stream. Uh, it, we make sure it falls straight down into here down into here, down into here, <laughs> down into this collection spot. Very cool. While I was working up, up here, I realized that I have an absolutely, it's very annoying to get up to here. Not just up to here specifically, which is actually somewhere I end up going a fair bit, but like up into this part of the base. Um, up here or even like over to here is kind of inconvenient at this point. You know, you can fly, but it just kind of sucks. So I spent, honestly, probably half an hour, close to an hour, installing this room and way up and down here. Because I needed to find a spot that was a quick, straight up to where I want to be. And there wasn't, you know, I tried it, uh, I, I tried to put it over here, was my first attempt. Um, but it had to kind of stop just one floor up. Because if we go up to there, again, look how hard it is to get up there. Um, seriously, look how hard it is to get up there. <laughs> and if I, if I want to walk, I've got to go all the way down there and back across. Maybe I'll put another water stream uh, like right around here to get up to that. Because this is just, this is also still sucks. Um, but that is, that hole right there is where we would have come up. So we would have come up to that and then had to create a walkway. That's a lot of extra nonsense I didn't want to deal with. So I went looking for a new spot and I found this perfect location here. So here's your way down. Here's your way up. It's accessible between a few actually quite central locations in the base, which is of course on the one side, the redstone area and the cobbled deep slate we collect. And on the other hand, just around this corner, you're coming through here and up. Um, so really excited about that. That's that, that on its own is gonna save me a lot of headache down the road. Um, I need to seal that up. Um, shulker box loader for the deep slate. So now, finally, after all of that prep, I also had to install a new beacon, um, which doesn't appear to be beaconing. This beacon here, I had to install this new beacon because my beacon buff actually ends. It ended before this point. It ended right about here. 
which is just you know i'm never inside of the cactus farm it's actually a little bit further up it's like it's like right there is where it is so i'm never in there um you know you never are at a point where you interacted with that before until now um some other things i'd like to add is i've got this room here and i'm thinking maybe a quick access way up and down here i don't know uh there's still so much to do um that i can squeeze into this base but what i've noticed is it is it is getting difficult to be here <laughs> i am permanently just a little baby bit framey um because there's just so much going on and every time you know how much redstone do we have idling here now if we have to head up here just this addition today added all of this uh and every single one of these pieces of redstone is creating just a little bit of lag at all times um and that and this is this is you know just a portion of the sorting system the sorting system has so many so many sections there's this section this section all the way down there there's you know another thing down here this entire room is sorting system. Uh, we've got a gigantic thing there that sorts a bunch of items in one spot, more items here. It's just getting to be so much, and that's only sorting system. That does, has nothing to do about the creeper farm, which I've turned off. Um, this has not been running because I had, you know, I had more gunpowder than I could. It's not off. I didn't turn it off. It's not running... It's not running really well because, uh, right, the, um, there's mobs now. <laughs> there are mobs around because the new caves. Okay, that, that explains that mystery. Um, so that's what I've been up to. That, that was a fair bit of work. I, honestly, happiest part of it is, is that I can do this now. This is, this is so nice. This is really perfect. It's been such a hassle to get into here. Um, problem solved. Okay, so I just spent a while removing i removed this many sources of light a little bit more than that i haven't picked up every single torch and lantern some of them fell in places i couldn't get but i've gone through the base and hang on let me do this again and removed so many sources of light that were unnecessary in some places i kept these like where there's one on every side totally unnecessary i choose to have it there for the aesthetic um up here i've yet to lift these i'm going to raise every single one of these up i have one block on these pillars um I can get rid of that torch probably i can get rid of a lot a lot more torches if i really wanted to take the time and like thin it out fully but the amount of torches i was able to re remove is crazy and you get like these areas where it's it's hard to imagine mobs can't spawn there mobs can't spawn anywhere along here mobs can't spawn here they get really close but it's still too bright for mobs to spawn and I am gushing. Oh, I've been on a a, a 30, there at least 35 minute rant based off the timer on my stream right now. Just gushing over the freedom to not have so many torches and lanterns everywhere. I've still got to go through and trim this out a lot. I don't have to, I choose to, I'm allowed to, I want to. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the yard because that's, you know, this is you know inventories very speed up here the area around here has inventories and inventories of torches in it really really just shitloads this i'm very likely going to do especially this i want to swap out and put like the blue torches and lanterns in and make this very nice and dim um but uh yeah that that so much i can do it's just it's hard to wrap your head around seeing places so dark inside that mobs can't spawn. Like down here, not even that dark. I I'd look at that and be freaking before. And my like I'm just having such a hard time processing that this is acceptable and safe. And I keep wandering around. Not a mob. Not a mob. Nothing. You get nothing here. Look at that. Negative four. Negative three. The lowest we get to is negative three. We've got two blocks of wiggle room here, man three blocks of wiggle room technically like totally mind blown seriously bending my brain um i just I, <laughs> I get to actually decide what my base looks like now and i'm i don't have to spend time like look at this i was i i, I forever was like if i could make it look like this i'd be happy but you gotta have torches man 
I, I, I cut out half of what's in here. I could cut out probably, like, I bet if I remove these and only use the, the lights in the ceiling. No way. They're so bright still. <laughs> oh, it's a dream come true. It's a dream come true. That's the best way to describe the lighting update. It's a dream come true. Um, okay, so I was, you know, doing some caving around my base. I that was the last torch in my inventory. Doing some caving in my base, got lost, so I'm on my, I'm my way back up. Um, no one torches anyway. I don't know how well you, you can hear this uh, zombie and chicken apocalypse that has been brewing. Um, for a while, there was a bug with the server client we use where it was just spawning zombies and chickens like absolute crazy. Um, and so you get these holes that just get jammed full of them. Zombies holding eggs. Zombies holding anything they can get their hands on. Um, just kind of infinitely. Yep, here we go. One of them even drowned. It's kind of funny. You can hear more over here. Any, anywhere that small and a zombie could be could spawn, like it doesn't matter how tiny the space is, it inevitably will be absolutely jam packed with zombies, <laughs> which is very funny. Like you know, another one of these tiny pools. These guys all came from one spawn spot. Oh, that's a rare resource right there. This kind of diamond is rare now. <laughs> that's a valuable resource. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, they weren't so they weren't hurting the mob cap at all, but they were using up resources. So let's go ahead and uh, purify the area just a little bit more. Oh, the drowned even dropped a copper ingot. That's funny. Um, <laughs> so much stuff. Okay. So the next step of this process, um, we've got but drip leaf and glow berries now into this new section next step of this project now that i've dug all the way down to the bottom is to line the walls with the plate tiles um easiest way i guess would be to go all the way down to the bottom and climb up so this is going to take a while okay with this hug ho this hug <coughs> this hole dug um Honestly, this looks pretty darn good. Uh, I really like the way it, it almost feels like it's like pulling you in to the way the um, the deep slate tile tiles, basically. Um, very cool. So first thing I need to do is get my staircase going. Spiral, I'll probably go down kind of quite gradually, actually, um, until we get about here. And then I'm going to dig out another room he uh, like along that way. So that the items, I can add three more sorting things there, have them drop down, come back this way. And then um, it needs to then kind of temporarily not have an end. Because um, what I want to add after that is, um, I think I need 16 floors. Uh, one for each color of dye that exists. Going all the way, I want to have one there, one there, one there, going deeper and deeper. And then I want to be able to look down and then see through like a like a like a thing of glass, basically the room that is colored for that theme, and it'll store the dye, wool, terracotta, whatever, um, of that item. And it I need it has to be ten blocks wide, so you know you have to dig into it a bit, build the room, and then have the sorting system connect to it, spiraling through. Um, and then once we get through all of those, then it'll come back, and I'm gonna see if I can't put my overflow back here, because. Um, I really liked having it here, actually. I really liked having my, my item overflow here. So if I can get it back here, perfect. We'll see if I can make that work. And that will be the true finale of the sorting system because there will be, um, so there's, was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So it'll be 15, another 15, followed by another 16 locations, each one sorting like five different items. And then overflow, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way my overflow will get backed up like it is now. Right now, 
the stuff that's backing it up is like you know three stacks of blue carpet which i'm not even going to sort carpet still to be honest but like you know it's just like two or three stacks of individual things um the wool will help the oh shit concrete also man those rooms are only getting more and more complicated because i have to get the concrete powder and the concrete concrete so that's two more sorting things we'll figure it out though um but other than that like yeah, this is all stuff, honestly, almost everything here will be addressed by that. The prismarine won't. Um, I'll be able to finally get, like, diorite walls and stuff like that in. Um, yeah, I, it just, we're very close, basically, to, like, I, I don't even need to sort another three, 18 new items plus colors. So once I get through that, that'll be the end of the sorting system, the true final version very excited um i've said it more than once you know when i did this that was the true final version then i was like well it's this is the end all this is all i'll need now but then i was like you know what let's let's kick it up a notch let's let's really make sure this is done and finished so that's that is the project we're working on next all right i have begun our gradual slope i have to make like a staircase into here that makes sense for this room but here's the next section um it is ready to be plugged in but not yet plugged in the items don't yet drop down this tube but once they do they come around and get sent down this way uh, i also haven't put the filters in these hoppers yet because there's no need to i have no idea when i'm gonna put them anyway and it's not plugged in so the next step is to now attach this to the i think 16 i'm going to double check i think I, there might actually be 15 uh, six, 15 or 16 gradually moving towards um like rooms for for colors the color rooms it feels it feels like i'm walking a line but uh yeah from there plugging it back in hopefully able to connect to here for the over i would love that so much <laughs> i really liked having my item overflow here i it was very very good so if i can i can, if i can bring it back there i'll be very pleased also, this is just such a crazy, crazy sorting system. So we now know I need to sort seven different items, which means 14 uh, with 14 modules um, that I need to fit in there. That is an inconvenient number for the biggest reason was I was thinking when it was 10 wide before I remembered concrete exists. Um, I was like, okay, it's just a little bit wider than this, so you dig it back and make it wider. Now it would have to be a lot wider for every single one, um, which I could do and would probably be the simplest way. Just the more I think about it, the more I go, oh, man, but I really do think it's the way. Okay, so here is, hang on, let's see what it looks like. Let me look at it. Here is the first one though it's obviously not finished finished it's not connected it's not sorting um it is actually connected though like once we connect this sorting room that one will automatically get plugged in it's already ready to go so these two flow already um neither of them sort actually like actually sort anything yet uh, but we will get there um this one we had to use pickles on and it made more sense um otherwise we'd have to bring this out like another block and i didn't really care for that so next we've gone down and we're going to start the next color i have no idea how i'm going to structure the colors i almost want to do rainbow and then just do all the rest of the garbage at the end um that's maybe that's what i'll do that's totally what i'll do miraculously everything is built and now it's just a matter of and also this has all got its items in it to sort so now it's just a matter of figuring out what one item is going to go in that end item frame and then all of these chests. Um, so let's count how many items I get to sort now. One down there, and then if we head in here, it's kind of awkward because the floor isn't in yet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I get to sort fourteen more items. Um, I already know one item so let's go grab ourselves a shulker box for like items that we're gonna put in i guess um purple feels as good as any color 
we want to start primarily drawing out of these chests i know right out the bat right out the gate we want to do mossy stone brick but down the end of that hallway i want to do sea lantern okay um moving on from there it kind of immediately gets harder to decide what i want to do i think i want to do the major prismine blocks like the full these because you know those do come in in some quantity from there ah, it's really hard i think i want to do the polished andesite granite and diorite i know there's a little bit right there but i'm going to go grab it from over here just so i have it all i don't know going to bother with the stairs of it one two three one two three I don't think the stairs are worthwhile. This is just one of those items where sometimes you put in a lot and it gets annoying. Um, right, we're downstairs. Excuse me. Three, so that brings us to eight of... What did I count? Fourteen? I already forget. I think it was just fourteen. Um, getting tricky to decide. Um, what do we got in here? Sandstone. Oh, terracotta for sure like regular terracotta not dyed i almost forgot about that one that really important one terracotta um that's nine i get five more i know there's a couple things up here i was thinking i'd like to like to be sorting um acacia wood dark oak log um that's probably all i've got to worry about for that sort of thing um dyes in this chest are all figured out torches are good nether wart i know there's some there but there's a whole bunch up here nether wart uh-huh okay two more items two more items i think i'm going to do sandstone smooth sand ah no because i don't build with it that much do i but i know i have it sandstone regular sandstone oh that's clay wow i've got I sort that already. Um, two more items. Gosh, this is this is the hardest one because I want to make it the right thing that I'm actually going to want sorted. You know, you know what? Let's do chests because I'm kind of sick of them being just hard to know where they are. So let's do chests. I don't know why I grabbed two for chest. Um, so that's that's thirteen. I get one more item. One more item that I sort, and everything else is overflow nonsense. Wow. Wow. I don't know. This is really hard. Lapis, I'm not sorting lapis. Not sorting lapis. No, I should. I should. It's silly that I don't. And lapis. Okay, so these are the items that we're going to... I don't know why I'm keeping them in a shulker box. When I can just plop them in. So this one, sea lantern for sure. I, f I could have swore I already sorted sea lanterns though. Let's just take a double check down here. Because seriously, like, if you ask me, I do sort sea lanterns. That's one more item I get to sort. Oh my god. One more item. Jeez Louise, back to the drawing board. I don't know. Oh man. I guess lanterns because I do have a fair bit of lanterns and I do build with them regularly so let's go with lanterns it's the same theme for what was going to be in this slot lantern I think makes sense although it's a little weird lantern Okay, so um, I think we're going to start at the end. We want to have on this end the things we're going to look for the least. 
um, which I'm going to say right away is going to probably be Mossy Stone Brick, even though I build with it a fair bit. Um, following that up with probably Nether Wart. Um, and then let's just do the Prismarine blocks next, just to get them in and out. Art Prismarine. And then why not do the Polished Garbage? which I also could have swore I sorted now that I'm doing it. We can check that afterwards. <laughs> if we do, that's going to be Pog. That's another three spots. Um, here, Acacia Wood, very unlikely to sort that. Dark Oak, I'm much more likely to see that coming through these days. Um, and let's do Terracotta. Chests. Finally, Lapis at the end. Okay, or don't put it in. Lapis at the end. Okay, so with those items in, we can finally actually test the sorting system. I don't know if items actually make it to the overflow location. I have no idea. But I figure today's as good as any day to find out. Right now is. So let's... Um, Oh shoot, let's go make sure I know, hang on, put that in because I know I'm sorting it. Do I sort the polished trash? I think I had it in here originally and removed it, which appears to be the case. Yeah, and then if I go down this long hallway, I know it's not on the top floor. If, it's, if we do sort it, it would be down here, which I see we don't, we don't sort it. Okay, cool. So let's go throw something in. And, and I guess we're going to follow it. Something we don't sort. Don't check one of those chests. Something we don't sort. Let's see about a cookie. So, we want to make sure it makes it to the end. Come on, cookie. Cookie. Okay, we can skip and just kind of go all the way down to watching it fall through this, right? It's going to take a while, but we know this part works. At least I hope we know it. There's a lot of back and forth. Where the hell's my cookie? There's the cookie. Okay, and then the cookie goes right this way. And then the cookie we can watch not fall. I'm already lost. There's the cookie. Caught it right in time. Pog. Uh, cookie. Okay, and that's going to come down here. And I know this works okay. There's the cookie. Continue. Cookie, cookie, down, to back. <laughs> this is such a maze. <laughs> I think this is probably going to be the first time I've shown on YouTube just how kind of, at this point, convoluted my sorting system has become. But that's just what happens when you keep adding on after it's finished kind of thing. Okay, so this is where we officially get into new territory. I know that these first few ones work. Now, how does the cookie fare? So far, so good. So far, so good. Cookie continues. Okay. Now, this is where things get really, really untested. So far, so good. I see it almost stops going across the hopper and ice. So almost as if it, the ice isn't doing its job, which is a little scary, but we're managing. We also want to make sure it doesn't despawn because you've only got five minutes from it getting dropped. And honestly, I don't think we're going to run into it. Um, I'm actually really quite confident, but what's broken here? Ah, this is too tall. Okay, 
So this is exactly the sort of thing I, th I expected to, to uh, run into. This is an easy fix though. Uh, we just do a little bit of that, replace that with, oh my God, we have to start all over for the test. <sighs> okay, so we got all the way to purple room and we're just gonna wait for the cookie to come back for this pass. I'm not following it around again. There's the cookie at two minutes twenty seconds and it got caught I'm so stupid! Okay. Why did I do that? Uh hilariously, that does that. Um Okay, so we're not so worried about the time. Let's do that. Ah, very good. Very good. Keep going. Don't get caught. It's so much faster than I am. Because I'm not in spectator mode anymore. You're like a silly billy. I can't even go into this one. Yes, I can. I forgot water here. <laughs> I could have swore I didn't. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, again, this is this is exactly the sort of thing that you run tests like this for, right? This is exactly what you get. There we go. Okay. That was to cyan. Use that bucket of water on a hopper. I can't believe no one mentioned this. Okay, back to how did it, okay. Oh, that's not good. This will work. We're okay. This is fine. Okay, so back to this. Oh, jeez, Louise. I don't even know if it went anymore. I feel so demoralized from this test. I expected like two things, but like it also takes so long now to get the item to the end, right? I guess we're just gonna have to go to the top and see if it made it. No, let's walk through. Because we might bots with the, with the iron trap doors behaving like that. Genuinely surprised it didn't get caught there. Really would have expected it to. Looks like it's gone. The whole way? We're almost to the end now? Either we've missed it. Ah, uh, yes. By the way, if you didn't know, this actually not a great rate. does sometimes produce glow squid ink, and it actually makes its way into the sorting system a lot of the time. So this is a glow squid farm. And also a sorting system. Figure, right? so scared of this little cookie okay this is it so that's the end um let's go into here see it did make its way across the ice assuming it went is there a cookie at the end joe cookie joe cookie cookie okay so it works end to end, we can confirm. And I'm gonna confirm it again for myself but not recording because this is already like 15 minutes of recording just for this one thing. Um, all of that gets sorted, that can go into the end. Wow, holy cow. Okay, wow. Well.